All right, the first one is can't log in to my computer. I tried to log in this morning, but password is not working. Okay, so first thing first, always make sure you sign a ticket to yourself so you can get credit for it. Uh, so typical can't log in to my computer is, is an issue that comes up a lot. It's probably the most common issue that comes up in help desk. I can't log into my system. Password most likely expired. And for that, we can reset their password and check on the password. Go to Active Directory and check on it. Now I'm going to start my virtual machine. I, I'm hoping I still have... Um, what is it called? Hyper-V Manager. Hyper-V. Hyper-V. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I don't have... I think I re-imaged this computer. And I lost a virtual machine which had Active Directory in it. Okay. So, but that's okay. I have a video on this. I already have a pre-recorded video which I will plug in as part of this video on how to reset a password in Active Directory. So don't worry, guys, I will show that here after this brief intro. So what's the main reason for not able to log into computer? You know, password expired. That's the most reason. That's the most common reason. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times um, the issue can come up where somebody forgets their password. And this can come up when somebody goes on vacation or just resets their password on let's say friday but they don't work saturday or sunday they're off from work come back on monday and they forgot what their new password was or they didn't memorize it or even write down which you never should write down never suggest somebody to write down the password so those are the most common reasons for somebody not uh, able to reset the password so i'm going to reply here and i'm going to say um, okay, I have, I will, hello, this is Irvin with help desk. I can check on your account to see if any issues. Uh, you can leave it uh, vague like that. That's okay. However, you do need to verify their name. Uh, maybe even their login ID, so that way you can log in. The company that you work for may have specific rules on th things that you can ask uh, from the user when it comes to this type of stuff because it's a security issue. Uh, but in this case, we're going to uh, we're going to pretend that um, that we already that, that, are, that we are allowed to ask them for their login ID. So I'm going to say, what is your login ID for the computer. I'm going to specify for the computer because users can get confused because you may have login IDs for gazillion different things, different websites, different applications, different software. So we're going to ask them, uh, what is your login ID for the computer? For the computer. And you can word this any way you want, just so that, so just so that a user understands what you're asking specifically. Because they might, if there's a chance that they might give you a login for something else. Uh, you know, keep in mind the users don't know much about computers. And that's okay, because chances are users are a lot smarter than we are when it comes to working on something else. You know, so that's okay. It's okay to assume that somebody doesn't know anything about computers, because it's okay to assume that I and you don't know anything about some other stuff. You know, that's, that's a fair statement. And notice how I said... Uh, ID for the computer. I chose to do that because a user mentioned I can't log into my computer to keep it more relevant. What this does, it expedites the response instead of them coming back. Well, what what is my ID? And then you realize that they gave you the wrong one. You know, and you can be talking. This might be a phone call that you get on help desk as well. So it might be on a call, talking to somebody. Um, highly likely, actually. That this would be a phone call. Somebody calls you on help desk and tells them, I can't log into my computer. Uh, you can also look up the user, uh, in this case, Mike Moser, um, in, as inside of Active Directory, and, uh, and that's okay. And then you, but you do have to confirm if there are more than one Mike Moser, then you have to confirm that it's the, the correct one. 
So you can cross-reference their location, their phone number, you know, all that stuff. So that way you're like, oh, okay, well, this is Mike Moser at, I don't know, Chicago, Illinois. You know what I mean? Or, oh, wait a minute. No, that's a different Mike Moser in New York. You know what I mean? So, you know, you have to confirm this type of stuff before you go in and start resetting passwords. So first place, Active Directory. I'm going to plug that in video, but the second part of it, we're going to do it inside of Office 365 because that sometimes is integrated and all together. So I'll show that in this video, but first part of it, I'm going to show a clip from my previous videos that shows you how to reset the password in Active Directory. Now, as somebody who might start doing basic tech support or you know help desk, they may get a call from, for example, Larry here. It's Larry calls in and says, I can't log into my computer. Well, we can look them up in Active Directory, scroll through, but the best way to find them is to right-click the user's folder and then select find. I always say this. This is the easiest way to navigate this thing. Was it, did I say Larry? Larry Buffett. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's early in the morning for me. And, uh, you know, I, my short, sometimes my short memory, to be honest, is not that great. So we search for Larry, and Larry Buffett comes up. And uh, just to show you, if we were to search for... Was it Mike? If we were to search for Mike, there will be multiple Mikes. So you might want to be specific when you search. So let's say we're searching for Mike here. You can see there's two Mikes again, right? But we know it's Larry. So we're going to search for Larry. There's Larry Buffett. We found him. Easy peasy. We're going to double click on him. <coughs> I'm sorry, we're not going to double click on him. Uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, details about their, anyways, I, again, I'm trying to keep it simple, so we're going to close that for now. This is another video. So we found Larry. We, we just want to reset his password. That's it. We just want to reset his password because he can't log in or maybe unlock his account. So we're going to right-click Larry here. It's very simple. We found Larry, whether it's in here or inside of this big thing that we're going to scroll down. It's going to be the same thing. Once you find Larry Buffett, we're going to right-click, right-click with the mouse, and then we're going to... Guess what? We're going to reset password. And here we can set new password. And again, it kind of looks like similar when we created his login ID, right? Remember this thing where it says user must change password and next login? And it kind of gives you this thing where it says user must log off and then log on again for changes to take effect. So we're going to have to tell him that if he's logged in already into computer, that he needs to log off. That's what it says here before we change his password. So Best thing to do is tell him restart your computer, you know, reboot. And it looks just like when we created her, where his password. Sometimes people try it too many times and they lock themselves out. There is a limit to how many times you can change, change the, or try to uh, use the wrong password. So if he is locked, what we want to do is click here where it says unlock the user's account. This will do it once we change the, once we click OK as well. But we're, we're going to give him a new password. So we're going to give him a new password. And you can call it whatever you want, you know, depending on what security policy is for your company. You can just call it Monday 1. Let's say today is Monday. Let's say today is Friday. You can call it Friday 1, just so it's simple for him to kind of type in. I try to make these simple and keep them very simple for them, <clears throat> as long as I'm allowed to, right? So whatever the password is, you have to confirm it and you tell him this is the new password. And whenever he tries it, he's going to be forced to change it so that, he's un so, so that way you don't know what his password is. And then we'll make sure that he's unlocked in case he tried way too many times the same old password. So chances are he might be uh, locked. So this way we're going to unlock him. And now the password for Larry has been changed. We can tell Larry, okay, your new temporary password keyword temporary password is Monday one all right welcome back from that clip so here are a couple of ways to reset password through uh, Active Directory through Azure Active Directory I should have specified that so inside of admin.microsoft.com so Microsoft 365 admin center select Azure Active Directory and from here you can look up the user so you select on users 
okay and then you can search what I do is I do a search is the fastest way to do it just like in Active Directory I'm sure I've mentioned that in the other clip and here is Mike Moser um, notice how his name is slightly misspelled the other one has two S's I believe and that's okay make sure you confirm that it's him select him and then select reset password right here and then it's going to come up on the right hand side select reset password and it's going to automatically generate a temporary password that is also simple to remember now this is a temporary password just like in active directory they go in and uh, they will get a notification to change the password and again it's okay to have a simple password to give it to them because they're going to change it anyways and you will not know what that is so that's how you do it through Azure Active Directory there's a third way through Microsoft Admin Center select users active users I'm going to search Mike Moser here's Mike same thing select here and then again reset password this was going to be a little bit different when I click it it gives you an option to create automatic password or you can type in the password and uh, you can select require this user to change their password when they first sign in um, very important because you don't want to know what their password is afterwards and then I'm just gonna call it something simple let's say today is Monday which is not uh, but that's okay let's say this is a call that you get on a Monday so I typed in Monday one two three so you can see Monday one two three as a simple password and I'm going to select reset and now I can tell them try my try Monday one two three Mike hello Mike try Monday one two three Mike 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 check and Mike is going to check and then he's going to be able to uh, log in all right so that's that we're going to move on to the other ticket after we close uh, this one of course so we're going to add internal note helped user reset password that's it you don't need anything else that's that complete select to complete the ticket close the ticket 